Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I want to show you how to solo Fleet the Dice Game. It is from Eagle Griffin Games, and it is a roll and write version of Fleet the Card Game, which is also a fun game about fishing. So for Fleet Dice, you actually are writing on two different sheets, and in the solo version of the game, we are competing against Captain Ruth, or perhaps better named Captain Ruth Liss. She's going to take things away from us this entire game. So where we fill in top down, she's going to take spots away bottom up. The game is also going to take place across two phases, so we're going to roll our boat dice and see what we can do with regards to fishing and licenses. And then we're going to come over here to roll the town dice and do work in the harbor, the market, and the wharf. Uh, before the game starts, Ruth is going to have her own priorities for dice drafting for each round. So she's going to start out with shrimp. She's going to start with an interest in king crab, and she's going to come over here and have an interest in the casino. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to be the first player this time, but Ruth is actually going to get to be the first player on even numbered rounds. So depending on who's first, we're going to draft these dice. She'll draft, I'll draft one this time, then she'll draft one, and then we'll both use the third. So the other thing we need to do before we get started is I need to roll for my starter boat in license. So I get to roll one boat die and whatever it tells me, I'm going to get to do the first three spaces under that creature type. So let's see what we get. Okay, so I've got a swordfish. So that means that I will get a swordfish license and a swordfish boat to start. So after fishing with the swordfish, I get an a star, which basically means that I can fill in the topmost option on any of the spots on my score sheet, which is pretty great. And I'm also going to get a boat. Every fish is worth one VP at the end of the game, so it does not hurt to have boats. More boats is better. Now let's roll three boat dice to see what comes up. Okay, so this time we have rolled a lobster, we've rolled an oyster, and we have rolled um, some coins. So what's going to happen is we need to pick which one we want to take. Ruth is going to take the other um, type of creature. So her priority is shrimp, but if I take the oyster, she'll take the lobster. If I take the lobster, she'll take the oyster. If she had a choice, she would take the one that's the closest to her when going clockwise. So it's just a matter of whether I want the lobster or the oyster. With the coins, no matter what, I get three coins. She's going to cross off the bottom spot on shrimp. This is a tough choice because lobsters are great for your income, but I think I want the oyster because if I can get their license and their boat, those boats are high capacity. So I'm going to take the oyster. That means that Ruth is going to take the lobster, and so she's going to cross off the bottom two spaces in the lobster. And then for the coins, I get to cross off three spots on this coin track. And what's great about that is I just hit a star, and a star means I can take a free action anywhere on this, these score sheets. So I think what I want is I want another boat ASAP. So I'm going to come over here and cross off this Inuit track. And that means that I will have another boat available to me when I fish. Because more fish is better. Um, and that is our first turn. Oh yeah, and the bottom of shrimp is going to cross off. So Ruth is going to take shrimp out just for one. That was our first boat round. Now we're going to do income. Sadly, my income is only one. So I get one little coin here. By the way, the solo game only takes eight rounds, so we're going to cross nine and ten off now while we're here thinking about it. Okay, and now we're going to go to town. And what that means is that we're going to roll the town dice. Town dice are two town dice and then one boat die in this game. So we'll have another boat die option. Okay, so we got a harbor, we got a wharf, and we got a shrimp. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I don't particularly fancy Ruth eating up stuff over here in the harbor. So I think what I'm actually going to do... Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to take this, uh, this harbor die, and I'm actually going to fill in the first track on the king crab license. The license gives you a lot of bonus VP, so it seems smart to me to grab it. That means that Ruth is going to take the wharf die. She's going to knock out the casino, but I don't care that much about the casino, so we'll live... And then we're going to share the shrimp die. So she is only going to cross off this sort of ineffectual space, but I'm going to get started on a potential shrimp license and boat. So it's not too bad for me. So that was one entire round out of eight. Now we're going to move on to the next round. So that means that Ruth is now going to be the first player. And her priorities are going to change. She's going to go to cod. 
She's gonna go to the Captain's Club, which gives you like these little extra fishing trips, which is pretty cool. She's gonna come to Amma's Bank and Trust over here in the wharf. And she's gonna draft first. So whatever we roll, she gets first pick based on her automated priorities. Okay, so this time we rolled two coins and a cod. So Ruth is automatically gonna take this cod. She's gonna cross off the bottom two on here. I get three coins. That's not too bad because I just hit another star, which is lovely. Now what do I wanna do with that star? Well, since I think I'm gonna hit another one, let's go ahead and hit this license for the oyster. We're gonna get an oyster boat license. So oyster boats catch two fish or a fish plus a coin when we fish. And then we're gonna split this third die. So I'm gonna get another, well, let's let Ruth go first since she technically would be first. Her priority is cod. She will cross out the bottom cod because it's like a wild for her. Then I'm gonna get three coins. I hit another star and that's great for me because I'm gonna get an oyster boat. So now I have three boats in action. So that was round two, the boat round. Now we're gonna to go to income. I'm only gonna get one coin, but we are very close to another. And now we're going to fish. And fishing is good for me because after fishing, I get to take another free action. Thanks, swordfish license. So let's fish. When you fish, each of your boats catches one fish, except for the oyster boat, which catches two. So this boat will catch either two fish or a fish and a coin. You know what? We're gonna do a fish and a coin this time so I can fill in an extra star and take another star action. So where should I put it? Hmm. Let's go ahead. Oh, and this Inuit boat will also get a fish while we're here, so I don't forget. Okay, so I just got a star action from filling in this coin on the coin track. Let's do the king crab license. We're getting really close to that. And then the swordfish says after fishing, you can do a star action. So we're gonna do another one. We're gonna work on getting this king crab license. I think that's not a bad call. Good stuff. Okay, so that was the fishing round. We've got three fish. So when we come to the market, right now we have zero. So for that's two coins, but once we hit five, it's worth three and you just get more coins for every fish you can catch. Now we're gonna go to the town where Ruth is gonna get first dibs. Let's see what she picks. All right, so we rolled a market die, a harbor die, and a cod. Okay, so Ruth is gonna take this harbor die and she's gonna mark off the bottom two spots on the captain's club. How dare she? Huh. All right, so then if I don't take this market die, Ruth is gonna cross off my next star action. Frankly, that matters to me more than the cod. I don't really care about the cod that much. So I'm gonna take this market, I'm gonna get two coins, it would be nice if I were able to get this star, but I cannot. And then Ruth and I are each gonna take a cod action. We'll share it. So she's gonna cross off at the bottom. I'm gonna put one in on the top. And that was the town phase this time. So now we're in round three. I'm first. We're gonna go for the lobster. Ruth is interested in the research vessels this time and in the salvage yard. So her interests rotate as the turns go by. So let's see what we roll for the boat dice. We are around three and we're doing boats. Okay, so if I don't take this lobster, Ruth is going to. What do I care about in that respect? All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this shrimp actually because I'd really like a shrimp license. So if I take a shrimp license, what that means is that any shrimp I choose from now on can be used as any die face. And that's useful to me. Uh, that means that Ruth is going to grab this lobster. She's going to cross it out, and then we're both going to share the cod. So she's going to cross one off, but I do get a cod license. And that means that now I can launch any boat for a coin. And I'm close to having another boat, which is never a bad thing at all. So that was our boat turn. Now we're going to do income. Sadly, I only get one coin, but it does put me up another star, which is not bad. So now I get to take any action anywhere I want. Where do I want to put that star? Okay, I think that I want to put it here. Let's get a boat. So now I have a shrimp boat. So the next time I fish, I'll get more fish on that boat as well. 
Now we're gonna go to town and let's see what our town dice offer us. Okay, so we got a cod, a, um, a harbor die, and a wharf die. Hmm. I think that I'm gonna go ahead and grab this harbor die because I would really like to get my king crab license. So I'm taking that. Now Ruth is going to take away the salvage yard, which stinks because, so you can use a die as a star action and get two VP. It's actually a really beneficial place, but I just have other strategies that I'm trying to pursue. And then we are gonna share the cod die. So that means that she's gonna take this boat away, but I am gonna get this boat, which is pretty much all I wanted from the cod column. So that's not too bad. If I get another two, I can grab another boat. And I sure do like to have boats. So that's the town phase over for turn three. So now it's Ruth's turn to go first. We're in round four. She's gonna prioritize swordfish, the barge, and the bait shop. So let's see what round four will bring. Okay. So, oh, by the way, when I launch that cod boat, I could use my cod license to get a coin for launching any boat. So that was actually fabulous. I get another coin. Let's remember to give ourselves our rewards. Okay, so Ruth is prioritizing swordfish this time, so she's gonna snatch the swordfish up. She's gonna take the bottom two. Now I get to choose whether I want to get a shrimp or a lobster. I do eventually wanna get a lobster license, but that's gonna happen no matter what. I'm gonna keep preserving my shrimp for a little longer. So I'm gonna grab the shrimp. And I'm close to my second shrimp license, which would be cool. And then Ruth and I are gonna share this lobster. So she's gonna cross this off. I'm gonna get started towards my lobster license, which I would like to get at some point. So that was our boat dice. Now it's time for income. And again, I only get a measly one, but it's something. Then we're gonna come down to fishing and fishing is very exciting for me right now because I have a lot of boats. So we get a fish here. I get a fish here. I get a fish here. I can either have two fish or a fish and a coin here. I'm gonna take a fish and a coin so I can hit another star over here, which I'll take care of in just a second. And then I have another fish here. Hooray. Okay, so I have a star action. What should I use it for? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna get another one for after fishing too. So I'm gonna use this coin star action to grab a lobster license now. So what that does is it means in the income phase, if I have two plus boats, I get an extra coin. I definitely have two plus. So next time I make money, I'm gonna get two coins instead of one, which is not a bad thing at all. Then I have one more star action because after fishing with a swordfish license, I get to take a star action. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab my king crab license long last. So now I automatically get five VP at the end of the game and I get to choose what bonus I want. So I can choose two VP for build, per building, but I don't want that. I can do one VP for, per six fish, one VP per license, or one VP per 10 coins. And the max is gonna be 10 VP per player. All right, I'm gonna try to get me a lot of fish. So let's say that I'm gonna get one VP per six fish at the end of the game. Let's hope that this is the case. All right, so now the fishing is done. We're gonna come to the town and roll some dice. So Ruth is gonna to get to pick first. Let's see what she grabs. Okay, so we got a cod and two wharf dice. So Ruth is gonna grab the first wharf die. She's gonna come and knock out the bait shop. Bummer. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this other wharf die and I'm gonna start working on something in the wharf as well. So I can either come to Amma's Bank and Trust and just get some free two VPs, or I can put a little work into the Fisherman's Pub, and try to get 10 VP at the end. Let's put a little work in, see if we can do it. So that's that. And then the cod, we're gonna split. So she, I'm gonna go here, she's gonna go here. So whoever gets that last cod thing is gonna fill up that cod column. All right, so that is the end of round four. It's gonna be me first this time. Ruth is gonna to go to Oyster, to the Inuit Boats, and to the Ridback Canning Company. Whew, okay, so let's roll some boat dice. Round five, boat. All right, so since I get to choose first, hmm, what is it that I would like? 
I think that what I'm going to take is I'm going to take this shrimp. The reason I'm taking the shrimp is because I'm already going to get another license or boat here. And I think that's great. So do I want the license or the boat? I'm going to take the license. Now I get two bonus coins for that. And then when I do a shrimp diet, I can do any face plus a star action. So that really pumped up what I could do by choosing shrimp. If we get shrimp, that'll be very beneficial. Either way, I got two coins. So that's sending me up towards my next star. Now, Ruth is gonna grab this oyster. And then I'm gonna grab the cod and I'm gonna take a cod boat. And I'm gonna get a star, a coin for that because every time I launch a boat, I get a coin from my cod license. So we're really, really close to this next star. So Captain Ruth would also have made a run for this space, but because I was first player this turn, I get the jump. Now it's time for the income. So I get two income this time. So I just hit another star space, which is fabulous. Where do I want to put my star? Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for the Fisherman's Pub because I would really like to get those 10 VP. So I'm trying to make it happen. All right, so now we are going to go over here to the town and roll the town dice. And again, I go first this time, so I get the first pick. All right, so we got the market, the wharf, and a swordfish. So I know that the first thing Ruth would take is the wharf. Hmm. I don't want her to take the market because every time she takes the market die, she takes my, um, my next star. But I also don't really want her to get any of this stuff either. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take the market die. So I have eight fish right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yes. So I have at least five fish. That's for three coins. So I'm going to come here. And I'm going to get another star, which means I can fill something else in, which is worth my while. So what should I fill in? We're about to fish. Let's get another lobster boat. Boats, boats, boats everywhere. The more boats I can get, the happier I'm going to be. Okay, so now Ruth is going to take this wharf die and she is going to kill off the canning company and the smokehouse. <sighs> so with the buildings, there is a special rule. If I can complete it before she knocks out all the spaces, I can still get the building. And now Captain Ruth and I are going to split this swordfish. So I'm going to advance a little bit and she's going to come up a little bit. All right, now we are going to turn six. So Ruth will go first. She's back to shrimp, she's back to the king crab, and she's coming over to the smokehouse. I really don't want her to get any wharf dice right now because I'm working on the fisherman's pub, so maybe I should prioritize that a little bit. Okay, so we are in round six. Let's roll those boat dice. Ruth will choose first. Hopefully she doesn't get anything too good. Okay, so we got two shrimp and an oyster. So Ruth is going to take the shrimp first. Now what do I want? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this shrimp, but I'm going to treat it as an oyster. That way I get to fill in the box. And because I get any face plus star, I get a star action. So I can grab another box over here on oysters. So I'm going to grab this oyster boats catch two fish or a fish plus a coin, but my capacity on my boat is now to eight. So I can get a whole lot of oysters oysters on my oyster boats. And then we're going to go for a second boat, hopefully. I also get two coins as a bonus for that, which is really good. That's setting me up for some good things. So now we're going to split this oyster die between Ruth and me. So she's going to take this away. I'm going to advance a little bit more towards a boat, which I don't think is a bad idea. Now we're going to go to income. So I'm going to get two income. And because of that, I'm hitting another star. So now that I've hit another star, I can fill in another of anything that I want. I think it'd be a great idea for me to get another oyster boat because these take on a lot of fish and we are about to go fishing. I think that is smart. Okay, so now we're gonna go fishing. Yay. And fishing is gonna be great because we get a fish here. We get a fish here, we get a fish here, 
Every boat gets a fish. We get a fish here. We get a fish here. Let's take two here. Let's take one here and a coin. No, let's just take two fish. Let's go crazy on fish. And then we get another one here. So that was a very successful fishing turn. Also, after fishing, because I have a swordfish license, I can get another star action. I think I'm gonna put my star action, let's put it here on the fisherman's pub. We're going for that 10 VP. Hopefully Ruth doesn't snipe it from me. All right, now let's go to town. Ruth gets to pick first, so let's hold our breath here. Okay, we got a wharf, I mean a harbor, a swordfish, and a market. Ruth is going to take the harbor die and she's going to knock out some of the king crab action over here. I, ooh, let's think about what I should do. All right, I have like 18 fish right now. I'm going to take this market and I'm going to get four coins. One, two, three, four, which means that I can fill in my fisherman's pub, which is absolutely what I want to do. That is worth 10 VP and that's a good choice. And then Ruth and I are going to split the swordfish. So she's going to cross this out. I get to launch a boat. So I will, I could take another license. I want to launch the boat. Let's do some long-term fishing goodness. And because I launched a boat, I get a coin off my cod license. So that's what I will do. Okay. So that was the town turn. So now it's back to me. This is our second to last round. Can you believe this game has gone by so fast? All right, so we're going to Cod, Captain's Club, Fisherman's Pub, except she'll go to the Seafood Buffet this time. Ooh, okay, so this is an advantageous turn for me. So a chosen shrimp die equals any face plus a star. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for... I'm going to take the shrimp as a, let's go for another swordfish. I think I can get that. I'm trying to launch all these boats and that one's worth two. Uh, that one is two, I guess. Um, okay. So we've done the swordfish, the shrimp as a swordfish, and then we get a star action. So why don't we go ahead and just lock down that boat? So we have launched another boat. Absolutely great. Now, Ruth, she's going to go for the oyster because that is her first one clockwise coming around from the cod. So she's going to knock this out, sadly for us. And then we're both going to share this shrimp. So I'm going to get this. Ruth is going to get this. And then whoever's first on the next shrimp is going to take that last boat. But at least I can keep using the shrimp for stuff because I have that shrimp is wild situation. So it was round seven. Income. Good. Okay. Also, because I just launched a boat, the car license is going to give me a coin. Fantastic. Okay, so let's come to income. I only get two, but I'm going to hit another star. Yay. Okay, so where do I want to put this star? What is the most beneficial thing I can do? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take this shrimp boat. I really want to get working over here on the harbor, but shrimp boat first. Because we're about to fish in the next round. And I want to make sure that I have lots of fishing options to fill up my boats. Okay, so we got another boat. And because we got another boat, we got another coin, which is fabulous. Now we're going to go to the town. So let's see what we roll. Okay, so this isn't what I was really not excited about, but okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to grab the market. We're going to grab the market because we still have quite a few fish. We have 18 fish, so we're going to get four coins. That'll be one, two, three, and then four, which is really great because we are going to come up here and fill the captain's club. Now what's going to happen is Ruth is going to take the wharf. She's going to kill off the seafood buffet and one of the spots on Amma's bank and trust because she's not going to go somewhere that's already full. And then we're going to split this coin die. So she can't do anything with the cod. I think she would come over here since it's wild for her and take away this lobster boat. I get three coins, which is putting me closer to my next star. Hopefully very close. 
because I got plans for this last round. All right, so now we're on the last and final round of this game. So Ruth's gonna go to Lobster, Research Vessel, Amma's Bacon Trust, and she's gonna go first. So it's round eight, Boat. Oof, okay, so she is going to grab this cod. Actually, she's not. So Ruth will not take a boat die that she can't fill anything with. So she's gonna take this wild and she's going to fill up the bottom one for lobster. I'm gonna take these three coins and I'm gonna hit another star. So with that star, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna come over here and hit fishing at the captain's club. So the moment you trigger fishing, it's awesome because you get to do your own little private extra fishing round and every bonus triggers except for the swordfish. So I can't get an extra star action from this, but still, this is awesome. So I get to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Let's do eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12. So I just scored 12 fish, which is 12 victory points off of that little captain's club adventure that I just had. And I've left Ruth with this cod die, so she has to pass. <laughs> so that was a good round for me, actually. So now we're gonna go to income. We'll fill in two more coins, which isn't very much for me at this moment, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go fishing again. So we get to go here. This boat's now full. Another fish, more fish, fish everywhere. The more boats you have, the more fish you collect when you go fishing. That boat is full, so I can't put anything in. Oh, this one had a fish in it too, from last turn. So we'll fill in two this time, because I went fishing twice. This has an eight capacity because I have two oyster licenses. So this will take two. And then this boat is full. So that was a really wild fishing turn for me. And I get to take a star action for after fishing. Let's think, what would be the smartest thing for me to do? I'm just gonna get victory points. So I'm gonna come over to Amma's Bacon Trust and grab two VP just cause I can. I think that's probably my smartest choice. Now we're gonna go to the town. Ruth is gonna pick first, so let's see what she grabs from us. So we two town dice and a boat die. All right, so it's the harbor. Ruth is gonna go for the harbor. She's gonna knock out the research vessel. This leaves us with the market and with some coins. Hmm. All right, so here's what we do. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the market because she would go first and block me from my star. Eh, it doesn't really matter at this point, but I have a lot of fish. I have 42 fish to be exact. So I get seven coins from this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get two star actions from doing this. So what would be my best option? What's gonna get me the most points? Right, so this wouldn't seem like it makes any sense. I have two things. I can either come to Amma's Bank and Trust and fill in something and then something else. Or, and here's what I think I should do. Yeah, I'm not gonna get another star. So I'm gonna come over here actually. And I'm gonna launch a crab boat. And the reason I'm gonna do that is it's actually worth three VP, which is more than other boats. So it's actually the, mo the most VP intensive thing that I can do in this particular situation. And then we'll share this die. I get three coins. And then Captain Ruth is gonna take out a lobster boat. So that was a full eight rounds. Let's see how I did. Ruth doesn't have a score. We just see how I score against her. So let's see, fish are one VP each. I got 42 of those. So that's a hefty little start for me. Let's see what happens next. So each boat that you launch is worth points. So it's gonna be two, four, five, six, seven, nine, 11, 13, 14, 15, 18 points off of launched boats. All right, so now licenses. If I had any level three licenses, I would get points for those, but I failed to do that. So nothing. Buildings, I didn't do a whole lot over here. I got two points over here at Amma's Bacon Trust 
And then I got 10 for the Fisherman's Pub, so that's 12 points. And then for bonuses, well, I guess my King Crab license was worth five, but I'm just gonna put everything under that on bonus. So for the King Crab, I got five victory points just for the license, and then one VP per six fish up to, it's like a max, the bonus max is 10 VP per player. So the crab license was for five. Let's just put it here. And then my bonus points, it was going to be a point per six fish. And so let's see, I got 42 fish. So that is going to be seven points. So that's going to bring my total to uh, 84. So our total score is 84. Let's see how good or bad that is. I know it's good. Okay, we did well. So on the solo achievement table, 85 plus is Salty Captain. I want to be a Salty Captain, but I can definitely settle for O oh, Captain, my Captain. And I'm definitely glad that I'm not a mate, a deckhand, or a greenhorn, because <laughs> I've been all those. So that was a pretty good game. I really like this roll and write. I will say that trying to remember a lot of the little stuff for licenses, like I'm sure that I've launched a boat and forgotten my COD coin. Um, it can be a little much to remember, but I really like the flavor of the game. I like the theme. I like the um, just the feel of kind of making things chain off of each other in a way that's not quite as numerical as something like Ganshin Clever. Uh, I really like this roll and write. I think it's a good one. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and happy gaming.